Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second part of lecture number 84 from our bootcamp series. In the first part, we added the device jib into the course project and saw how it work. In this part of the lecture number 84, we will force admin user to log into the system before using the admin panel and we will also customize the redirect path after signing for admin user. Okay, but first let's force the admin user to sign into the system before using the admin panel. But before that, let me explain why I am saying this. Okay, right now you can see that I am at the root page of the application. Okay, but if you can, uh, but you, you can see that I can access the admin dashboard even without signing as the admin user. And this should not happen. If I'm going to use admin panel of my application, then I must be authenticated by the system which I built as an admin user. Okay, so now let's switch to the root page again. Okay, and here you can see that I am sign out currently. Okay, so first let's force the admin user. So open the, your project directory. Okay, and you can see that uh, we have admin name space implemented already. Okay, so since all the resources inside the admin name space like blogs, courses, dashboard, projects controller, and students controller all the resources are inherited via admin controller so we will add a before action filter to the admin controller so that whenever you try to access any resource of controller from admin namespace device will check whether admin user is signed in or not if the user is signed in then it will allow you to access the admin side resource else it will redirect you to the login page okay so open your admin controller and add before action authenticate admin user okay so here is my admin controller and here we will add the action controller callback before action authenticate admin user okay and this is the method provided by device okay which will check whether your resource is authenticated or not or it will add the force authentication of your resource before accessing any page and it will check only for the controller where you specify this since controllers are inherited and we added this into admin controller so whatever the controller or any controller which is inherited by the admin controller must follow this force authentication of admin user okay and here you can see that this admin user is the resource name okay if you have user model as your device model then you must write authenticate user if you have admin model as your device model then you must use authenticate admin similarly authenticate employee authenticate manager if you have manager and employee as your device models but in our case our device model is admin user so we used authenticate admin users or simply you can say that this is your resource name okay now if you save this and uh, try to access an admin page or admin side page without login to the system or without signing into the system let's see what will happen this will redirect you on the login page okay now you cannot skip this process and you cannot sign in to the system you cannot access the admin page unless you signed in so let's sign in using a admin user okay so here we will add admin at the rate example.com and password. So now you can see that I am at the admin. I can access the admin dashboard right now and I can access other admin resources as well. Like let's say you can see that I am at the I am accessing the student resource inside the admin name space. Oh let's close this. Yeah, I am I can access the courses resource inside the admin name space i can access the projects resource inside the admin name space okay there is some error okay however we will solve this error but uh, for now let's consider this okay so this is what we want to do and this is what we achieved okay now as the next part we need to do one more thing that right now you can see that we are signing to the admin dashboard right now okay and if i want to sign out now and sign in back to the system then i will be redirected to the root page by default not to the admin dashboard okay for example let's say 
let's go to switch to the home page okay and from here if you sign out okay now if you sign in again to the system let's click on this and sign in as admin user admin at example.com here you can see that we are not redirected on the admin page we are redirected on the home page after signing okay but this should not happen why because since we are signing into the system as admin user so we must expect the system to take us on the admin pages after signing not to the root pages okay because root page is something that you can even access without signing to the system as well okay so we need to customize the after signing path which is provide which is a method provided by the device okay so let's customize that method okay here we will do that in application controller okay so first open your application controller okay and in that application controller you need to implement that method here you can write let's say protected and then define the method here and the method name is after signing path 4 and this path 4 is for resource name okay now you can add your resource here just provide the resource name here okay and now sorry not resource name resources argument here okay and now we need to make uh, we need to push uh, right path where we want to redirect to the admin user after signing in okay so we can add admin dashboard path okay just save it this okay when you save this and now if you sign in to the system as admin user let's sign out this first okay so here you can see that i refresh the page and now if i want to sign in so let's add admin at that example.com and add password here now you can see that i am redirected to the admin dashboard after signing and what i did for this is first close this man okay what i did for this is that i added admin dashboard path and i implemented the after signing path for method okay this is the method provided by device where you can set your custom routes to redirect a resource after signing okay by default this is the root page of your application however if you want you can implement this method method rather than inside the application controller you can also implement this method inside the device controllers by creating them okay but uh, since we have only admin user uh, we have device authentication for only admin users so we will not use that and we will simply use this for inside the application controller okay now that's all from this lecture what we cover in this lecture that we first force authentic uh, force authenticated the admin user before accessing the admin panel pages and we set the custom route after signing in to the system for admin users okay now there is one more part of this video uh, of, for this lecture where we will customize the device views for admin users okay and we will do that in next part okay so that's all from this part and thanks for watching this let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe